After the spectacle of last night's opening ceremony, it was time to get down to business on day one of the Rio Olympics. And it was America's Virginia Thrasher wasting no time in claiming the coveted first gold medal of the Games, taking out the women's 10-metre air rifle. In the men's competition, another first, Wang Juan Vinh becoming Vietnam's first gold medal winner. Just down the road, it was time for the men's cycling road race. And what a backdrop, the riders taking off along iconic Copacabana Beach. Many fell victim to the gruelling race, but not Belgium's Greg van Avermaet, racing away to become an Olympic champion. Not long before that, at the exact same spot, the Games had its first security scare. The bomb squad conducting a controlled explosion at the finish line of the race after discovering a suspicious bag. There were similar scenes over at the equestrian centre after a bullet pierced a media tent. Brazilian police don't believe it was a targeted attack, instead describing it as an unfortunate incident. The scare wasn't enough to dampen the spirit of Russia's Bezlan Mundrudov, putting aside his country's tumultuous lead-up to the Games, winning gold in the men's 60-kilo judo event. Syrian teenager Yusra Madini showed what the Olympic spirit was all about. Competing for the refugee team in the women's 100-metre butterfly, she won her heat. It wasn't enough for her to progress, but she captured the hearts of those in the stand. And if she was capturing hearts, Britain's Andrew Peaty was capturing attention, setting a new world record in the men's 100 metre breaststroke. As always in the Olympics, there was triumph and there were tears, and all of it on opening day.